Hello and welcome to another Resolve tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at printer lights and how we enable them and use them within Resolve. So first of all we're going to go up to the color tab and you can see here that we have the printer light hotkeys toggle. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click this and you can see now that it has a little tick to say that we are in printer light hotkey mode. So what will that do? Well that will turn our numpad into the printer light hotkeys. So before we go into that, what are printer lights? Well, printer lights um, have been around for a long time. They were actually used in um, photochemical processing before digital color grading, but they're still really useful tools. So let me show you them in action. Make sure to have a look at these offset bars and the vector scope and the parade, and just have a look to see what these hotkeys are doing. So first of all, drawing uh, attention to the numpad, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the plus and the enter key. So hitting these will lift the overall offset and lower the overall offset. And you can see that really clearly in the offset bars. Okay, so that's the plus and the enter key. Going to the top of our numpad, uh, we've got 7, 4, 8, 5, and 9, 6. So these are the red hotkeys, green hotkeys, and blue. So RGB. Okay, so um, if I hit the 7 key, it's going to lift the red offset, and the 4 key will lower the red offset. I'm going to hit Shift Home just to clear this node. Um, moving on to 8 and 5, so this will lift the green channel and lower the green channel. I'm going to hit Shift Home. And the 9 and 6 keys, so this will raise and lower the blue channel. And you can see that these are all having pretty drastic effects on the image. Moving down to the bottom part of this keypad, uh, the one key will add cyan, and the minus key will remove it. So that adds cyan, the minus key removes it. Shift home to clear. Our uh, two key adds magenta, and the zero key removes magenta. And the three key adds yellow, and the delete full stop key removes yellow. If we go over to the primary wheels and we want to make a yellow adjustment and we push this towards yellow, you know, we could also be pushing it slightly towards green or red. It's not a very exact adjustment. So when we're working with printer lights and we want to add a couple of points of yellow, we know exactly what we've done. It's more of an exact science and it can be very useful to fix color balance issues, color cast issues, or even set basic looks. And the last thing that I want to just quickly touch on, there's multiple ways to achieve a certain hue using the printer lights. So, for example, if I wanted to add blue, I could go over to my blue printer light key and go ahead and just add a lot of blue. And you can see that does the job. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a still of this and hit shift home to clear. Um, so I've added blue in one way, but I could also subtract yellow in order to get a similar blue hue. So if I do that here, and you can see that my vector scope, okay, I've achieved a similar hue you can see that it's a very blue image but if i compare that to adding blue in my previous example you can see that the scopes are very different and the image is very different so subtracting and adding using the cyan magenta yellow controls versus the rgb controls they will give you different results overall if you enjoyed this uh, go ahead and visit my patreon the link is in the description below um and like and share and subscribe and all those nice things um fantastic guys i will see you in the next video cheers